Welcome to Penn State Hershey Research. Thyroid cancer is on the rise, but even more so in Pennsylvania. Penn State College of Medicine's Dr. David Goldenberg has been studying the trends of the disease in the Commonwealth. The thyroid is basically the body's thermostat. It keeps us hot and cold, fat and skinny, tall and short. Thyroid cancer has a high survival rate and affects younger women in higher numbers, as shown in the recent hit movie, Fault in Our Stars. The movie's main character is a young woman with thyroid cancer that spreads to her lungs. Thyroid cancer is um, on the rise, and alarmingly so. In 1980, it was the 20th most common cancer in uh, women, and it's projected to be the third most common cancer in women in, by the 2019. The incidence has tripled in most places, and uh, we don't really know why. The rate of thyroid cancer is increasing faster in Pennsylvania, and the instances of the cancer are higher than the rest of the country. Typically, the cancer is found most in the Asian population, and is about 50% less common in African Americans. But in Pennsylvania, it's looking different. The rise in thyroid cancer in the Commonwealth was found overwhelmingly in women, which is not surprising because it is a woman's disease, three or four to one. Uh, but we did also find a rise in African-American women, which was surprising. Patients sometimes blame the 1979 Three Mile Island nuclear power plant accident near Harrisburg for their cancer. However, research does not find a correlation. As a matter of fact, the highest cluster that we found was actually in the western portion of the state, a lot of the counties surrounding the Pittsburgh region. A large part of the rise in thyroid cancer is due to uh, better scrutiny, meaning we are looking closer and therefore we're finding. So we do much more ultrasounds, we do a lot more scans, and we are finding more of these than we did in the past. This, however, does not explain all of the rise. The reason we know that is because our study, like other studies performed in the country, found a rise in microscopic cancers. However, we also found a rise in larger cancers, and that does not go together with the theory of overdiagnosis. If it was only over diagnosis, we would only be discovering smaller cancers. So research needs to continue. Thyroid cancer research, in my opinion, does not tend to get the attention of um, funding mechanisms and other organizations. Um, and I believe that's because of the fact that the prognosis is so good. And that's unfortunate because Thyroid cancer is on the rise. It affects a lot of people. It's a young woman's disease, and it absolutely causes uh, morbidity, sickness, um, and uh, we really need to get to the bottom of any disease which is uh, growing at such an alarming rate.